Why does an F-16 need 17 hours of maintenance for every hour of flight? I had a viewer say, 20 hours of maintenance is horrible. I'm somewhat experienced in cars. Think of it this way. Does your car go Mach 1 upside down? Does your car experience nine times the force of gravity when turning, which would make this cell phone the weight of a brick? A car is designed around gravity. In an engine, the oil drops into the pan. Fuel is pumped from the bottom of the tank. In a jet fighter, you have to pump oil at all angles. And fuel tanks are pressurized with nitrogen to deliver fuel at all angles. All of those high speed maneuvers cause a lot of stress on the airframe. Every inch, every screw, every rivet has to be inspected post-flight. If you get a cracked windshield in your car, you can let it go a few days. What do you think happens to a cracked windshield at Mach 1? So that's why an F-16 needs 17 hours of maintenance for every hour of flight. It's not a Toyota Camry. And who works hard to keep these airplanes in the air? Maintainers. I have a long form video coming up very soon how maintainers, not pilots, not non are America's key to air power anytime, anywhere.